Hey y'all, it's Ashley at Southern Vagabond and I decided to take a little video on my one patty pan squash harvest and how I hand pollinate it. So stay tuned to check it out. All right, y'all, so I am going to harvest my patty pan squash today and I'm really excited. This is the second one that we have gotten that has been big enough to harvest so as you can see it is huge and it's on the ground so I don't want it um, rotting or staying really moist on the ground so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it um, I'm so excited this plant is doing so well it is so huge um, but as you can see here I was having a little bit of a hard time getting it out because the plant is so scratchy but I'm super excited it is so big and it's so pretty I grabbed this patty pan squash plant as um, just like a little seedling or a little start from our local nursery and I thought it was just a really interesting looking squash and I thought my kids would love, love it because it looks like a little spaceship. So anyways, I thought it would be really neat and man, it has taken off. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to show you guys how to pollinate our hand pollinate uh, squash plants. So we have male and female blooms here and I'm gonna show you the difference. This one right here is a male flower. So it has a stem in the middle with pollen on it. And as you can see, it doesn't have a little fruit at the base of the flower. That's how you know it's a male flower. And the female ones do, as you can see there. Um, there's like a little squash at the bottom of them. So that's how you'll be able to tell the difference between a male and a female flower. So you'll just take your paintbrush and rub it along the pollen stem and get some pollen on the paintbrush. <sighs> Don't wanna lose any to the wind. And then you'll take it and that little bundle in the middle of the female flower is actually really sticky. So you're gonna take your pollen off of your paintbrush and you're going to try to stick it to that center part and not lose any to the wind. <laughs> So once you get that really good encoded in there, you should be good to go. Sometimes I like to do this twice just to make sure I didn't drop any. Um, and then that way I know it's really good and pollinated. So we'll do it again to this flower back in the back. As you can see, there's another female flower down there and y'all excuse my fingers. It was really hard to film with one hand and pollinate with the other and hold leaves back and everything else. So we're gonna get more pollen on the paintbrush and get it really good encoded, not lose any again, cause it's precious. <laughs> and then we're gonna reach back to the female flower and go ahead and do the same process. So don't mind the ants, they're not tearing up my plants or anything, so they are perfectly okay to be there. I don't mind them as long as they're not tearing up my plant. And I got a little bit more pollen just to make sure I didn't drop it all on the flower without any getting in that center piece. So, it is as easy as that guys, pollinating is super easy. And so that fruit down there, or vegetable I guess you could say, I'm not sure if it pollinated um, because we've had some really crazy rainstorms um, and severe weather and stuff like that. And those blooms were opening during those days. So didn't really get a chance to get out there and hand pollinate. I didn't really see any male flowers open or available to get pollen from. So we'll keep an eye out. And if those don't grow anymore over the next couple days, I'll go ahead and clip them so that all the energy of the plant can go into the two that I pollinated to make sure that we get some good vegetables. But I think this one turned out pretty well. This is one that I did hand pollinate. And so I knew that it was going to um, grow into a really nice size squash. So I'm really excited. Man, y'all, I've had such a hard time growing squash here in Texas, but this is the first year we're actually getting some. So super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned a little bit about um, growing squash and how to hand pollinate and we will see you next time. Bye y'all.